Welcome back to the Mode Monster Adventure Let's Play. In this part, we'll be doing the Hallways of Doom. So this second level, we'll be talking a bit more about some of the enemy types. Uh, they'll also be talking a bit about the challenges. They'll be showing us some some new mechanics too. Because yeah, in uh, some of the challenges, uh, requires you to use some of the Muppet abilities. Some of them don't. Um, yeah, usually with the Muppet tokens, there's there's a uh, there's like one or two lying around. There's like a couple from challenges, and there's always one from getting the, f the five letters of bonus. Which, speaking of which, I almost found a glitch about the bonus letters. If you uh, collect two at the same time before like the the words bonus disappear from the top. Uh, the letter you picked up just stays floating around for a while. So yeah, Miss Piggy's power, the ghoul friend. Um, she can karate chop, so we can karate chop. And we have to karate chop doors, which are usually marked by them being slightly damaged or having a crack in most cases. Uh, but now we learn a little bit about some other enemies. So so far we've had enemies that can be defeated either way. Uh, but now we get enemies with shields and you have to spin them. And as we saw earlier there are really big enemies who can't be hurt by spin attacks so you have to use the glove on them. So it's just, it's just like Spyro, like metal stops flame and big people stop charging. Uh, and some levels have Rizzo running around with a Muppet token, which is just like Spyro's Egg Thieves. So at least they, um, at least when they copied stuff, at least they like did it pretty well. And it did end up yeah, making a pretty decent game. You have collected enough evil energy to open the next level, okay? Uh, it's nice that Pepe also tells us when uh, when we actually have enough stuff to get to another level. Uh, speaking of which, this game is very... Um, oops. <laughs> this game is very, like, demanding of your um, ability to collect. Uh, beating this game like a any percent run and a hundred percent run the game are nearly identical because you can only miss like two Muppet tokens and I can't remember how much it is like 200 uh, evil energy it's it's very little that you can miss which kind of makes maybe doing an any percent run a bit easier because you just have to just think about uh, which two ch challenges are most time consuming. Because uh, yeah, I, I used to be the uh, world record holder for the uh, any percent run of this game. But then uh, some uh, yank I had decided, hey, you know what, I'm actually going to try and do a lot better than this person, and so they did. Uh, same person who um, discovered the multiple, well, or at least showed off the multiple, uh, like the duplicating uh, token glitch. But like, no, like, I don't have anything against him or anything, even if I, <laughs> I just... Because I did actually hold that uh, record for quite a while. The reason why I had the record, though, is because um, in my uh, in the uh, sp like community well, of like eh? casual speedruns uh, that I'm part of, uh, they decided to do a Muppet Monster Adventure tournament. It was just like a mini tournament with just a, a select few people. And I think I was the favourite to win. They thought I was going to win because, I don't know, I'd, I'd only done like two or three 
like Muppet Monster Adventure matches against other people in the community, and I, I'd won them. But for some reason, everyone just got this idea that I was like this, like really invincible uh, speedrunner. And um, like even to the point where people in like some other tournaments were saying, uh, I, I refuse to do this game against you because you'll win too much. Uh, so then when it came to the tournament in uh, round two, I actually had like a really off game, like a really off match and I did really, really badly. And um, everyone was just like, wow, uh, okay, maybe he's not as good at the game as we thought he was. <laughs> And I'm just like, yeah, you see, I'm not that amazing. And then, <laughs> but at the same time, I was kind of like, no, my reputation, it's ruined. <laughs> uh, so I thought, oh, you know what? Um, let's see what these uh, the world record times are for for this game. I went on speedrun.com, and there was no listing at all. So I thought, hmm, here's a here's a nice opportunity. <laughs> Uh, so I got my uh, got my Elgato. I set it up, and I decided to uh, just do a run of the game. Like, oh, uh, and just before I continue my story, uh, we just got the chicken power up. It functions like the uh, super flame in Spyro. Only not quite as good, but it's still pretty. Um, it's still pretty useful sometimes. It can take out big enemies, uh, shield enemies, but uh, it's pretty hard to aim with, unless if you go into like the first person mode. Uh, but yeah, what I did was I. I played through the game just like as quickly as I could. Uh, I was actually listening to like podcasts and stuff while I was doing it because it, it's a, it's a very long game. It's like four hours long. Um, that recording actually is uh, was done on Elgato while this LP is actually really old and it's done on a dazzle. Uh, yeah, with that I had um, the world record for a while, but then um, then it got beat, and some other people started doing it too, but they all did it on the American version, so you could technically say I still have the world record for this game on the European version, although I haven't checked the leaderboards in a while, so who knows, maybe someone's beating it on the European version too. Uh, we just got a brand new hit point. Uh, hit points are like lives, they don't reappear ever. So if you die, uh, you won't get those extra hit points. There's also a very interesting uh, thing with the hit points in this in this game. So there's the hearts that fly around and you have to like cut corners to catch them. And they fill up a hit point slot and the hit points behave similarly, like that. But, as you see, I have four hit points. If I get another heart, I actually have a, a secret fifth hit point. Um, and I don't lose those four hearts if I get hit. I'm not sure why that was uh, put in, or why they decided to put a secret hit point in, but uh, it's a pretty interesting um, thing to know. It definitely makes things a bit easier. But yeah, with that, uh, that's Hallways of Doom complete. Uh, in the next part, we will be doing Poker Faces. I uh, will see you then. Thank you for watching and goodbye.